as the newspapers and magazines migrate to the internet, which they will do because it's a free distribution platform globally. And 85% of the cost of a newspaper or magazine is the physicality of the printing. You get rid of that and suddenly you're back in profit again. As they migrate to the web and as video becomes, the web becomes video component capable, there's no question that you have to carry video and that increasingly storytelling will be done in video as opposed to print, or I think more significantly, uh, we have to develop a new grammar for digital communication of ideas, which is going to be kind of an amalgam of video and text. And so part of what we want to talk to you about today is how do you do this? What are the basic rules of grammar of video? How do you physically go out and make this stuff happen? And what does it look like? And some of these are unknowns, and some of these are guesses, and some of these are quite concrete. But the, the notion of video literacy, I think, is the primary component of where culture is going in the future, for better or for worse. And it may be for worse. I can't really say that a non-reading, non-writing culture is a better culture. But that is where we are headed very, very rapidly as a society. And it is incumbent upon us, all of us, as thinking participants in culture, to become video literate, not learn how to make movies, not learn how to make TV, but rather learn how to communicate ideas in this very, very powerful medium of a video. 